There's too many nails we're ripping out and trimming, but it's really unbelievable every day. These are very common issues we, we see. I've been dealing with it for quite some time, but I was a little unsure of what to do about it because my doctor, when she gave me the medication, she did suggest I see somebody, but I didn't know where to go. Did they suggest a foot specialist or not really? Yes, yeah, she suggested a foot specialist, but I wasn't really sure who to go to or who to trust or, or what it would involve. So I did nothing. And then when my daughter had a problem with her toe, she pursued it a little more than I did. And now that she's had it done, I feel more comfortable doing it. And to be, it's the same problem, right? It's the exact same issue. Unfortunately, she damaged her toe and, and it's tough being so young and it's already happening. But at least by her seeing us sooner and getting the maintenance, it, it will prevent it from really, really getting much worse. Because it can always get worse. And she was happy afterwards? Yes. But did she find this place or was it her, her aunt, your sister? Um, my sister is a fan, but it, it was actually a friend on her skating team that, um, is dealing with an ingrown toenail problem. Yep. And she lives in Toronto and was seeing a specialist in Toronto. And uh, my, my daughter asked her to see if they could recommend somebody out this way. And he recommended you. Okay. So it was the foot specialist who recommended? Yeah. Your, your daughter's skate team member. Wow. What a cycle there. And then your sister didn't know it was me until what? She came back or how did that connection happen? She didn't know that she had an appointment with you. <laughs> And then when she found out? She, she was upset she didn't get to come and watch. <laughs> I think they said that and I was just like, well, we can film it. I know, I know it's very tough, right, for a young girl. I was like, let's film it so your aunt can. She's like, nope. <laughs> but uh, again, damaged toenails is a very, very, very common thing. And it's very normal for it to get uh, treated as a nail fungus. Nothing's been bugging you so far? Nope. So still working on it little by little. And that's really the secret. If you try to rush it, it can be painful. They can twist the nail. And underneath, you can't see like I can, but we can already see, start to finally see free space. You're getting all this bad lifted part off. Do you paint your toenails at all? I painted them more than anything because they were so ugly. So I would get them painted to uh, cover them up. So would you go to a nail salon? Yes. And now did they ever try to trim this back or buff it really low? What would they do? Just uh, file it. With a hand file, electric file? Like an electric file. Did they ever go really low or just enough to just kind of lightly smooth it out? Just enough to lightly smooth it out. And then did they ever suggest to see a foot specialist? No. And so that's the big thing what I've tried to do by opening my own nail salon is just, you know, having the nail technicians a little bit more educated, knowing what, what are these different nail conditions, what they can do, what I can do, and working together. What's amazing is they have the same equipment I do, the same Dremel tool you'll see. So they can maintain these just as well as I do, or even better because <laughs> they have their appointment's a little bit longer. They have the skill to, and the different drill bits to really get in the corners. So it's a, it's a really great place for, for maintenance. You doing okay? Yeah. Doesn't hurt a bit. Awesome. It's always really amazing to see how much of the nail is just already lifted, not attached. And all the dead skin underneath. And so now we're getting closer to the part that is attached. And so the first time your daughter skated again after the thick damaged nails were removed, was it sore? or she was okay, back to normal right away activity? Um, I think she was okay. She commented that it felt better in her skate. Well, I'm happy because again, 
she was un she's unbelievably tough to be skating with that nail that thick. It's really unbelievable, huh? You can see how much it's going. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me put the foot down and we're gonna start to smooth this one out. So we're gonna buffing it down. So I have a little Dremel tool that has some a water attachment that way you don't feel anything. So same as always, if you feel something that's a little sensitive, let me know, but really nothing should be bugging you. This is the secret. This is where we're gonna get the nail really nice and thin back to its normal level. Okay. A little bit of all that dead skin off, so a little bit of cold water. So the amazing thing, you can start to see the actual pink nail as we remove those extra layers of the, those extra thick and damaged layers of the nail, we see the healthy nail that's underneath, that's fully attached. Big difference. Big difference, yeah. So it's gonna be a little, sometimes a little sensitive where I'm trying to buff some of that dead skin off, so if it's too sensitive, you let me know. So there's a little black spot on the side here, and that's actually just dry blood. Think of it like a bruise, because that thickened nail was putting so much pressure on the nail bed. And it's really interesting to me, always, when we have these damaged nails, they always have this, more of this triangular shape to them. Always. But this part of the nail is fully attached. That's not, we can't trim it back any more than that. Okay. So what we normally do is then build a nice, normal, square-shaped nail on top of this. This would be the top of the nail we fill in the sides. So it's not gonna be higher than that and give you that full look. I'm gonna see if I can remove a little bit more dead skin on the side, but that's basically it. So this is what pretty much, if we just do the buffing and filing, the nail's gonna look like. And then if you were to not do anything for a year, two, three years, it'd get back to where it was when you first came in. There you go. Let me wipe that down. We'll buff the other one. How's that look? It looks great. 